Welcome back to Floral Fusion. This is a 12 part series. Each month we're going to talk about the art of floral design and fuse it with a trend in the design industry. Last month we spoke about the Pantone color of the year, which is classic blue. This month in February, we are going to talk about Art Deco. So this is probably something you guys have been seeing a lot in interiors. Sweeping curves, beautiful rich tones and colors. And there's a new modern take on Art Deco, which we're going to call Neo Deco. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a floral arrangement in a beautiful glass vase that is inspired by the design trend Neo Deco. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. This is a beautiful blue vase. It's very kind of neo deco. It has these beautiful lines. I love the richness, the boldness of the tone. I'm actually going to take floral tape, which is just a thin clear tape. And I'm going to create a grid on the top of the vase. And that's, what that's going to do is it can, it's going to help the flowers stay in the vase. Um, it creates sort of a foundation for them. So once you kind of place them inside, it's going to keep them together. So you don't have flowers flopping all over the place. I'm sure some of you have experienced that when you put floral arrangements together. So let's start with the grid. I'm going to take a small pair of scissors. I'm going to have those handy, and I'm just going to create a grid. I'm going to keep the scissors in your hands. There's the first line, the second line, and then one down the middle. Now remember, always dry off the vase before you start taping the grid. Um, if it's too wet, this um, tape is not going to stick. So, Okay, we have our grid. Now we're ready to start putting our flowers in the vase. So today we're going to be working with Pincushion Protea, Spray Roses, Orchids, Helioborus, which OMG, these are amazing, I'm in love. Bay Leaves, Heather, and Queen Anne's Lace. So I have my grid, I have my water in my vase. I can use regular clippers or a floral knife. You're gonna see me using a floral knife today. It's a little bit faster to cut the stems with a knife, but I wouldn't recommend using it unless you're comfortable with it or else you your mic cut yourself. So. First, I'm going to start with the greens. My bay leaf, it's going to add some really great fragrance to the arrangement. And I'm just going to start with kind of filling it in with the grid. I'm going to pick some good pieces here. This is going to be a really nice kind of flowy arrangement. I don't have to worry too much about the structure of it. And um, just going to start filling in the pieces. You can see how it kind of droops over like that. So I'm just going to, you know, I just got to play with it until it agrees with me. Okay. And I'm going to add another piece over here. Then I'm going to add my heather in here. And this is a little bit of a filler but I think it fills it out really nice um, before we put the larger flowers in. And I'll find the shorter pieces in here. Really just creating some nice shape. So as you can see, it's starting to come together pretty nice. Now I'm going to add some of my focal flowers to this. So the Heliobores I absolutely love. It totally has that 
modern slash classic feel, which is perfect for Neo Deco. So this is actually great to just kind of add to, add, like you can add it at an angle, but it's great to just add towards the edges of the bouquet because you're really going to create that nice linear form. And it's going to add some really nice dimension. And so now it's starting to look really asymmetrical and beautiful. So from here, I'm going to start adding in some of my spray roses. And just filling it out. Really, I'm trying to create this nice romantic look. Just filling in the gaps. And notice how I'm placing the flowers in at an angle in some places because that's really going to help create the shape of the bouquet. Don't worry about being so structured with everything. Just have, the most important thing is you just have fun with it. So here I'm gonna go a little bit shorter in the middle because I really want that length. So we have our Heather in there. I'm gonna start adding in some of these larger pincushion proteas. These are awesome, totally modern, fun. Gonna add a nice little pop of color in there. So these I'm gonna add towards the center. And it's always nice to work in threes, in odd numbers. It just looks more balanced. And I'm gonna have these little guys towards the front. And again, that grid is really holding everything into place for me. Super happy about that. Then I'm going to add some orchids in here. And this orange, this bright orange color is going to help everything kind of tie in together. All the different colors. See how that just pops? Super fun. I'm going to create some asymmetry here. I'm going to add the orchids just on their own, on their own side of the arrangement, actually. And that really helps create some asymmetry. Now I'm going to add in my Queen Anne's lace and probably a few more of the bay leaves. Bay leaves can really add nice fragrance, but also that beautiful drapey look we're going for with this. Last thing I'm going to add in is my Queen Anne's lace. This is super fun, very vintage, classic looking, and it's going to be a nice contrast against, you know, something that's more modern like an orchid or a tin cushion protea. So I'm just going to find some nice little places in the arrangement to put these in. And I really want it to be wispy. That modern versus vintage look and feel is what we're going for. Sometimes I kind of have to shift it around a little bit to see which areas need more or which areas need less. And it looks like I need just a few more stems. Let me 
pick this one here. And we're just going to add this one over on this side. Maybe I want one more in the front. And I think we're done. We are done with our arrangement. This is what it looks like from the front. You can see that it's very asymmetrical. Modern meets classic Neo Deco. I really hope this inspires you to make your own beautiful Neo Deco or any other type of floral arrangement you want at home. Fusion fun fact number two. We are very much inspired by Valentine's Day this month. And Valentine's Day actually originated as a Roman festival. Uh, it really signified the official start of springtime, and it was called Lupercalia, and it occurred in the middle of February. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're inspired to go make your loved one a beautiful bouquet for Valentine's Day. We will see you in March.